today. I'm going to be showing you the TID Radio, T-I-D Radio, BL1 Wireless Bluetooth Programmer. This $20 miracle of the modern age lets you program your UV5R radio and a few other radios. I'll go over that list of exactly what radios you can program with it. Let's you program your radio wirelessly. No cable, no computer. All you need is this little miracle of modern technology and a smartphone. TID Radio, T-I-D Radio, I don't know how you pronounce it. They do not know that I'm making this video. They did not send me this miracle of modern technology. I bought it all on my own with the monies that I saved up all by myself. If you're a supporter of my channel, this is what I do with the money that I get from my supporters. I buy things and test them so that you don't have to. Now, I'm not going to beg you to click the join button below and support my channel. I'm not going to beg you to send me Bitcoin. That is my Bitcoin address, by the way. I would never beg you to click the join button. I know that you will do the right thing. And as always, I will do my best to keep this video short and to the point because I know your time is very valuable. We'll see how I do on that promise. I usually don't do very well. So why would anybody need this miracle of modern technology? This is not a miracle of modern technology because it does anything special. It's a miracle of modern technology because this miracle of modern technology only costs $20. $20. Affiliate link below. And what it lets you do is program your radio wirelessly. No cable, no computer, just a smartphone, and this little piece of plastic and metal. This miracle of modern technology. Now, some people may be thinking, why would I need to do that? I already have a cable. I already have a computer. Why would I need to do it wirelessly? I suppose that if you lived in the basement and never left the house, you probably would not have a need to program your radio wirelessly. But if you ever go adventuring and actually leave the house and take a radio with you, there may be times that you want to program that radio, maybe to connect to a repeater that you didn't know about, whatever. When you leave the house, do you take your laptop computer with you always? Do you always take your desktop computer? Do you always bring your programming cable? Do you always bring your smartphone? There are also many people out there, perhaps you, that have never been able to get your computer or your laptop and your cable to work together to connect to and program your radio. I know several people that for whatever reasons simply cannot get their computer to work with their Baofeng UV5R and other radios. The cable doesn't work, whatever, Windows problems, driver problems. So for those people, this little $20 miracle plastic and metal hunk might be just what you need, as long as you have a smartphone. Now, some people may be saying, I program my radio like a man. I'm smarter than everybody else. I do it by hand. I myself try to always know how to program my radios by hand so that when I'm out adventuring, if I need to make a change to the radio, I know how. But there are some things that I still struggle with, as smart as I am and as manly as I am, like trying to program a repeater in the field, in the heat of the moment, by hand on one of these things. It's a pain in the bitch. And that's where this little miracle of modern technology, this little $20 hunk of plastic and metal comes in handy. It could be a lifesaver. Did I mention it's only $20? Affiliate link below. So I'm going to quickly go over this little miracle of modern technology, this $20 miracle of modern technology. I'm going to show you how to set it up, what it can do, and how it might actually save your life. Now, this is the part of the video where traditionally I would de-box everything that comes in the box and show you. I can't do that this time because this little miracle of modern technology doesn't come in a box. It comes in a little baggie. But when you buy the baggie containing the miracle of modern technology, $20, affiliate link below, you will get the, you will get the BL1 Bluetooth adapters, basically a dongle that you connect to your radio and then your smartphone talks to. So you get the dongle, you receive a charging cable, regular USB-A on one end and micro USB on the other, and you receive a user guide, a user pamphlet, a user page. Goes over the basics of how to plug it in, how to pair it up with your phone. I'm gonna show you that, it's very simple. 
as skimpy as this is, it, it does tell you what you need to know to get the dongle working with your phone and how to program the radio. Doesn't go over any other detail of the app itself, which I'll show you. Gets the job done. So the dongle itself looks like a Bluetooth dongle. You've, it's got a K, K type connector plugs that plug into the side of your Bufwang UV5R or other radios. I'll go over the list of radios that you can also use. It has a little charger port right here and which I can't get open. I need to get a little pin or something to stick in there to get it open, but that's the charging port and it doesn't take very long to charge up. It's got a small battery in it. It has a power button here, which you use to turn it on and off. And that is about the extent of the functionality of the dongle itself and what you can do on it. It's very simple. So the first thing that you need to do is install the app and the instruction pamphlet makes that very easy to do. You search your iTunes store or Google Play store, or whatever you call it for OD Master. You do have to sign up for an account. It doesn't cost anything. I don't know why they do that, but they do it. Once you have the app installed, you open it up and you are presented with the user interface, which I have no idea what most of these buttons are for. It seems to be some sort of social networking type app. User guide does not mention anything about these other functions. There's a friends and I don't know what those are for or what they do. The only button that I care about is the program button. And that's what you use to go in and do the magic. So what you do is you take your BL1 Miracle of Modern Technology, plug it into the radio, and you wanna make sure that it snaps in all the way. If it's not in firmly, it won't work. You gotta make sure the radio is on, and then you press the power button to make sure that the unit is on. You then tap the program button on the app, and you have to pair it up to the device. You have to pair the phone to the device. You have to do this every time. It doesn't remember the device like you might expect. So they're kind of in steps here. So hit the Bluetooth, it will display the radio, now I'm connected. You then have to select what radio you have. There's only a few brands to choose from and only a few models within each brand. So these are the radios that it is currently compatible with because it uses the standard K-type connector on the dongle. They could easily expand the compatibility to other radios that also use that same type of connector. All they would need to do is update the app. And my guess is they're working on that. So this is what you can currently connect to for Baofeng. TID radio, all of their models. TID, I don't know what the difference is. 10 way. And radio oddity, radio, radio diddy, radio diddy. One model, the GA2S. Now, one thing about this app, the app is not perfect. It struggled a bit when I first started using it. It's a brand new app. It's a brand new product. Perfection takes time. Look at Windows. Windows 1.0, it was not perfect when Microsoft first released it 30 years ago. But now, 30 years later, look at the level of perfection that Microsoft Windows has reached. So I select my model. I've got the Baofeng UV5R. I then tap the read button to read what's currently in the radio into the phone. Oh, that's where the magic happens. You can see the magicking right here. Flashy, flashy, blinky, blinky. Progress, progress. And I now can access the programming. It's now a copy of what was in the radio is now in here. I can see what the settings are. So I've got my channel zero, the first channel on the radio. Here's all my other channels. So we've got our channel listing there. So I'm going to select channel one. Transmit and receive, you've got your tones that you can enter here. Basically all the settings for a channel that you can access on the radio, you can access here. And the one thing that you cannot do on the radio that we can now do in the field is give the channel a name. So those are the channel settings. I can now go in and change the main radio settings as well on the function tab. As far as I could tell, it has all the same settings that I could change in Chirp. It does basically everything. And the other thing that you can't easily do on the radio by hand on the keypad is programming a repeater. And that's now very easy. So let's just program a repeater. We're on uh, channel one. So I need to put in the receive frequency. Let's put in my repeater. 
This is a GMRS repeater, and we know that the Baofeng UV5R is not an FCC Part 95E type certified radio for GMRS, so I'm programming this repeater just to listen. So I put my receive frequency in, I put my code in, it's a DPL or DCS code, tone. I can change the power setting, wideband or narrow. Ooh, it's on narrow band. Let's change that to wideband because wideband is better. The reason that wideband is better than narrow band, it's a little complicated. Somebody should make a video explaining the difference between wideband and narrow band. If you would like to see a video explaining the difference between wideband and narrow band, leave a comment below. So here's the settings that I've entered for channel one. New frequency, and that's frequencies for the GMRS repeater, which I would never transmit on from this radio. So all the changes that I've made are in the app. So now I'm gonna write these changes that I've made over back to the radio by pressing the aforenamed mentioned with this button. And there we go, the magic is happening. More blinkies, more flashies. The radio resets. Now on channel one, I have a name, which is the name I gave it. I can see my DCS tone is set. I can see that it's on low power. The plus minus means that it is set as a repeater. Now I would press the button to make sure that it works, but some people might get butt hurt if I did that. And we don't want any butt hurtiness here, do we? And that's it. My radio is now programmed to what I did, you saw how fairly quickly and easy it was. Much easier than trying to do it by hand. The app is not perfect. It works, it does the job. It does everything I need it to do. It's just not polished yet. But if you have a UV5R or one of the other radios on the shortlist that this product supports, this miracle, this miracle hunk of metal and plastic, only $20, affiliate link below. This could make your life much easier. This could save your life in a certain specific situation that could possibly occur. You never know. So if you have questions about the TID radio, TID radio, BL1 Bluetooth dongle, leave a comment below. Dickhead comments and stupid comments will all be pinned to the top to make sure that everybody sees them. And then they will probably then laugh at them and make fun of them. Don't you wish that more YouTube channels called out the idiots and the jerk wads and the ass pirates that leave these stupid, hateful, idiot. Don't you wish they would call them out and not let them get away with it? We should start a movement. Make YouTube great again. Thank you for watching. Next week, I'm going to be doing a YouTube blog.